Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I am going to show you how you can export your Power BI data in a SQL Server. So, uh, in the data field, you can see the lots of data I have. So, I am going to show you a few of them, uh, how you can export to a SQL Server. So, I have a dim, diamond, uh, dim distribution channel code and the another table I have dimension item. So to export the data in SQL Server, first of all, you need to have a DAX Studio in your system. So quickly, I'm going to show you how you can install that. So here you can see, uh, just open the Chrome and type the download DAX Studio and just visit the first link. And here you can see the lots of uh, DAX version. So you need to select the current release and just click on install so here you can see the directory is uh, downloaded just click on open and just uh, install for the all users accept the agreement and click on next just browse the path where you need want to install click on next next and next so i want to create a desktop shortcut and click on install now uh, just click on finish So we'll close it. So when you uh, install the DAX Studio or any external tool in your system, uh, which supports to the Power BI, so automatically here you can see the new tab, external tools. It's uh, get added in your Power BI desktop. And here you can see the DAX Studio, okay, as an external tool. Now uh, it will ask for you for the connection. So Tableau server we have, then we have Power BI or SSDT model. So from the Tableau server, here, uh, from here you can connect your uh, data flows and from the Power BI SSDT model, you, uh, you can create your Power BI report. So as of now, I will uh, connect with the DAX version V1, v, uh, which is my Power BI report name. Here you can see DAX version V1. So automatically uh, DAX Studio will detect the uh, files which are open in your system. So just click on connect. Okay, don't show again and click on okay. So here you can see as soon as I uh, create a connection to my that particular DAX version file. So all the tables here you can see all the tables are listed over here. Okay, now I want to export uh, these two tables dimension code and dimension dc code in my sql server so i'm going to open my sql server so parallelly uh, what we can do just go to the advanced tab and here you will get the option export data okay just click on that and select sql tables and here you need to provide the your sql server name Just give me time. So here you can see my SQL server name. Just copy that and paste over here. Okay. Now uh, I'm going to create one database in my uh, SQL server. So already I have lots of database. You can uh, you either you can create a new one or you can just provide the uh, existing one. So here I'm going to create a new database. Just click on the database, new database. And I'm going to provide any random name to my database export just tags okay 
export DAX I have given. Just click on OK. And here you can see the data uh, sorry database is successfully created. Just provide that database name over here. Export DAX. Okay. And authentication, uh, I'm going to choose Windows and uh, schema. I'm going to select uh, choose a by default and just click on next. And I want to just uh, export dimension item and dimension code and click on export. So here you can see the 15 rows from the dimension code uh, are exported and from the dimension item uh, almost 5000 rows are exported. Just cross check over here. Refresh and tables. Or uh, just from here, I will select export tax. Select from beam item. I will run the query. So here you can see the data is successfully exported over here. So here uh, I am not able to see the data like tables over here. But when I run the query from the export data, I can see the uh, my tables so same i will try for the name dc oh okay i will run the query yeah so here we uh, successfully uh, exported the data from the uh, from the power bi file to the sql server so here you can see the tables we have exported so I hope you understood uh, how to export Power BI data in a uh, SQL server. So if you like the video, please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you.